Welcome back everybody to another Black Ops 1 video commentary. Today I have some helpful tips for you guys for creating classes in Call of Duty. Now these are some helpful class setups for the experienced player and also the unexperienced player in Call of Duty and I believe these are four important classes that every person who plays Call of Duty should have for their setups. Now let's not waste any time here. I got a Black Ops 1 gameplay for you guys, uh, but I'm not going to talk about that. Let's talk about the classes. So for the commentary topic, let's get into it. Helpful tips for creating classes in Call of Duty. So I will show you guys pictures from uh, Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3 just so you guys understand. And if you are a visual learner, then this will help you out a lot. And just take this concept and put it into whatever Call of Duty game you are playing. That way, you know, you can understand and see exactly what I see and what I'm trying to uh, point out. So, we have an anti-air support class, which is number one. Should be at the top of your list. Uh, basically, you want to be invisible to, you know, your enemy's uh, kill streaks, score streaks, point streaks, whatever. All of their support streaks, their UAVs, counter UAVs invisible to their controllable and AI controlled kill streaks uh, so that way we have ghost on and for Modern Warfare 3 we have assassin blind eye and you want to have a stinger or a strella missile whatever your launcher is to take down uh, enemy air support basically I have the strella missile because it has three shots in it and that's more than enough to take down a, a chopper gunner or an attack helicopter, you can take down three UAVs, two county UAVs, one UAV, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, and you, so you want to have more missiles, I always find that more helpful in case you are running scavenger, or if you're not running scavenger, then, you know, you have an extra missile left over in case they call in a UAV or, you know, UAV helicopter, that type of combo. So, moving on to the second class setup, oh, before I move on to that, the Model Warfare 3 setup, because you have uh, individual uh, point streak setups, you know, you want, you, here's an, just an example, something that you might want to run because uh, you want to shoot down enemy air support in case you live longer than you expected. You have a UAV, county UAV, and a, a SAM turret that will also help you destroy enemy air support. So that's good to have. Uh, and then the portable radar, and you see the class setup there. So whatever you want, to, you know, it doesn't have to be the same gun. But usually, um, for you know either game, whatever Call of Duty game I'm playing, I want to have a gun with a suppressor, keep me off the radar. I do not want the enemy to know exactly where I'm at, so that's why I have a suppressor on for my Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3 classes. So for the second type of class that we have is an anti-explosive class. So you want to have flak jacket on and basically that's it so you can run around with flag jacket uh, you can have uh, whatever primary whatever secondary you want uh, maybe you want to have a M72 law rocket launcher for your secondary for Black Ops 1 and some uh, Claymore, Semtex, explosive stuff you know so you can also protect yourself if you need to throw it down at your feet in case an enemy or a group of enemies are charging you boom you will survive that little radius um, and if they're throwing, you know, flashes at you, if they're trying to burn you with the uh, flamethrower, or if they have other explosive equipment uh, around on the ground and that you're, they're throwing at you, you will survive longer. So that's basically that class. And then for Modern Warfare 3, I'm going to have a different setup. So this is number 3. This is for any Call of Duty game. Objective game mode class. Uh, basically, I have a riot shield to protect myself against oncoming bullets and then I have extreme conditioning so I can run to the objective quicker quicker uh, say if I'm playing uh, domination so I want to run to the B flag at the start and I can do that and then I have blast shield on so I can have resistance to you know flash and stun grenades and also uh, you know C4 frag grenades and all that good stuff so then you can just rush to that flag take it and you'll be fine you can have that extra point right off the bat and you'll be good so for your number four
class set up, you want to have a stealth class. So for Black Ops 1, I have Ghost on, I have the AK-47 with a suppressor on, and I'm running Ninja Pro because I want to stay off the radar. I want because I got the, the silencer on, so when I shoot, nobody can see me, but they can hear me. Then I have Ghost on, I'm completely off the radar, and then I have Ninja. So it, it, it's harder for the enemies to hear my footsteps, and I can sneak up on my opponents. if they Say if they're just calling in UAV, UAV, UAV uh, constantly, like a UAV spam, then this will be helpful for you. Now for our Modern Warfare 3 class, of course we got basically the same setup. UMP45 with the suppressor, assassin on. Uh, you get the idea, you just want to have, you know, just invisible to enemy UAV. And then you can move around the map. Uh, maneuver and you know flank and you'll be good so then for your fifth class you know you choose you know if you want to have say you play capture the flag a lot you know make a speedy getaway class like a extreme conditioning lightweight sled of hand class something of that nature and I don't know if you like I said four most important class one two three four the fifth one is up to you if you only have five uh, slots to use but that's basically it. Some helpful tips for creating classes in Call of Duty. I believe, you know, if you're a solo player or if you play in a party, these four classes, you know, will help you out a lot. You know, if you're a solo player, you don't have to worry about, you know, ha not having an anti-support class. You don't have to rely on the green dudes, the public players to shoot down enemy air support you can choose one of these classes where you're invisible to you know completely invisible to the enemy or if you have assassin on or ghost on you're invisible to uh, UAV and that stuff uh, enemy air support your name doesn't pop up above your head uh, so you're a little bit more stealthy and you can maneuver around the map that way uh, like I said you do not have to rely on your teammates for anything you have all the class setups you need in these four setups um, so there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if any of these setups have helped you. I'm more tank. I'm getting out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course as always in the meantime, have a great time fragging.